two pentatonic rock patterns in the key of A. Let's break that down. Okay, so a quick mini lead tutorial for your weekday practice. Recently I received a message from one of my patrons asking, what's a way in which you can dress up your pentatonic scales, make them a little less predictable, and also build some speed? Well, one of the best ways to do this is to learn and practice some patterns uh, as you navigate through your pentatonic scale ascending and descending. So for this lesson, I'm gonna give you a pattern for your ascending licks and a pattern for your descending licks. Okay, following along using your tablature at patreon.com slash lessons, your first pattern is gonna look and sound like this real slow. Okay, so very simple. It's just a basic pattern of going up four and back two. So if I start on the low E string, I'm gonna play five, eight, five, seven, five, eight. Okay, that's your fret numbers. So one, two, three, four, back two. One, two. Now, if you know the notes that are inside this scale, the minor pentatonic scale, which everybody should know, we're just going to repeat that pattern on each string. So now onto the A string. Okay, so that was five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, going back to the A string. Repeat the pattern on the D string. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now the G string, we're gonna have to go back to using those eighth frets. Okay, so that was five, seven, five, eight, five, and then back to seven on the G string. Finally, the B string and high E string. Okay, five, eight, five, eight, five, and then back to the B string for the eighth fret. Okay, and then from there, just resolve back to A, fifth fret of the high E string. You put all that together and we have. Okay, so practice that over and over again. Get it into your muscle memory. Practice it with your alternate picking if you're going to be plucking every single note. And once you feel like you have that down, then it's time to really start building the speed. Remember, the path to virtuosity is slow, methodical, and careful practice. So, get it down first, get it into your grips, then we're gonna add in the hammers and the pools. So, with hammers and pools, it's gonna sound like this. the A string. Okay, so on and so forth. So, back to the low E string, it's a hammer. Then onto the A string, 5-7 with a hammer. And then a pull off. Okay, and when you do that pull off, make sure that that ring finger that's pulling off is kind of plucking the string or pulling down on the string. back to the low E string, eighth fret. Repeat that exact same technique on the A string. Okay, now my um, preference for picking is down, down, and then up. As I start each pattern, I like to do a downstroke for emphasis. That's very important to me. Okay, so that basically sums up this technique for ascending. See if you can put it together with the hammers and the pools at a nice, slow tempo. Just like that. Okay, very good everybody. You've got that ascending pattern down. Now it's time to move on to our descending pattern. This one we're going to be playing. Down three, one, two, three, and then back one. Okay, and repeat that on each of the six strings. Before 
Zavin on the low E string, fifth fret. So if you need a little bit more help with that, we're going eight to five, then eight on the B, and then back to five. Then the B string, eight to five, seven on the G, and then back to five on the B string. The G string, seven to five, seven on the D, and then back to five on the G. Same exact thing now, fret numbers on the D string. And then this is where it's gonna end. We're going to play seven down to five, eighth fret of the low E string, back to five on the D. All right, we're at a string, so resolve to the root note, the fifth fret of the low E string. Okay, so once you have that down, exact same thing. You need to practice this super slow with a metronome preferably building the speed gradually. Sometimes I'll uh, kind of move it up maybe five to 10 BPM, then turn back another five BPM, and then keep scooting up until it's up to the speed uh, that I've set for my goal. Okay, but once you have it, then we're going to add in the pull off technique. Okay, so as I'm doing this, I'm going to be alternating my pick through the strings. And because it's an even number of notes, we're going to be changing uh, whether we start on a downstroke or an upstroke, which is a little bit tricky. You don't really want to think about that too much. Okay, so as I go through here, I'm going to do a pull off. I'm starting on the downstroke. Upstroke, downstroke. Now it's going to be opposite. Upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. And then back to downstroke. Upstroke. one of the finer details there. Okay, so now you have two uh, patterns for your pentatonic scale, ascending. Okay, that might sound familiar to you. Okay, if it's good enough for Eric Clapton, then it's good enough for your playing. And we have our descending pattern. Practice those over and over again, then start seeing if you can add them into your licks. Okay, little phrases like that. Okay, nothing too fancy as you're getting started, adding in this technique to your playing. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lead guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.